Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to machine a band access slot. Um, band access slot is basically a, a, a it's a nice feature to have on the spear gun, and uh, it's basically this slit here on your muzzle, and it allows you to slide your rubber bands, your, your pre-tight bands. Um, it allows you to slide them into your gun. Um, and um, also you're able to, uh, to remove the bands quite easily. Um, it's, uh, I like having it on the spear gun. It does, it does weaken the muzzle somewhat, so uh, most spear gun manufacturers who do this will put a, uh, a reinforcing screw through, through the muzzle to keep, that, to keep that from opening up on you. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that that band access slot on a on a table saw, um, and the way I do it, I, I you know you, you can you can do it in several ways, but uh, I do it on on a table saw, and uh, I like to clamp it down, and it, it's uh, it's a pretty safe way to do it. Um, you can also uh, feed it into a, a table saw by by hand. Um, if you have a steady hand, but I, I always like to clamp things down. Um, okay, so uh, let me set up my table saw, and uh, we'll take it from there. So here I have a portable table saw. I've had this for a while now; it's served me just fine. I don't do a whole lot of work on the table saw, but this is one the uh, one of the operations that I do. Um, so. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, drive the, the saw blade. Now make sure it's unplugged. Anytime you do setup on on, this, on a table saw, you make sure make sure it's um, unplugged. Um, drive that saw blade up, and um, the way I'm driving it up is there's a wheel on this end of the, the saw blade, and uh, I've already marked it. If you if you can't see that, but Mark the end of the blade, just to make sure you know where it is. Um, I have a zero clearance insert on, on this table saw, so I already know how far the blade is going to come up and how far it will extend um, on, on this end here. So, and the reason I, I you want to do that is um, when you have your your spear gun down and you're cutting that um, you don't want to hit the bottom corner of your band slot uh, and, and ruin your spear gun um, it still be repaired if in case you you do that but uh, you know you try to want you, you want to avoid that if at all possible um, so now with that I know where the blade will end up um, Lower your blade again. Lower it just enough so it's right below the surface there. And so you want to position your fence so that you cut your slit uh, through the forward end of your muzzle so that it's pretty centered on your band slot here. Um, so let's try it. I, I usually uh, I usually have it on a mark here, yeah. Okay, I, I have a, a preset mark here, so. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I would do it uh, if I didn't have a, a preset. Basically, bring your fence and look through the muzzle and sort of eyeball the center of that muzzle there. Um, and, and then clamp down your fence. Well, I already have a, a preset location that I want to cut it. At, so clamp it down. Now, uh, so the idea here is you want to clamp down your gun um, and drive the blade up as it's spinning and cutting. Um, now, you could also do this if you have a, a, a flat, uh, fairly flat spear gun. You could lay it flat, push it against the fence, and feed it into the blade. And then you'd have to stop short at some point, um, 
knowing where the blade is and, and, and knowing that you've already cut entirely through the forward portion of your muzzle here. Um, but in, in this method here, um, everything's clamped down. You know how far uh, you have, I mean it's already positioned so that you don't have to worry about feeding that too far in by hand and, and, and ruining your spear gun. So um, it's, all, it's also a lot safer in my opinion. Um, uh, you know, I've had several s close calls with the with the table saw, so um, you know I've I've adopted a philosophy of, of safety first on, on, on practically everything in, in the shop because um, it it can be a dangerous place. Um, so now that my fence is positioned correctly, um, what I also like to do is if I'm doing more than one spear gun. Um, I, I, I usually put a stop here on the other side so I, so I know where to, you know, it's sort of a quick index. Push your gun in um, and it'll stop automatically where I need it and then I, and then I clamp it down. So I already, already have it pre-marked here as well. You can see my line there. I'm just going to clamp that down. So that you you break this corner, and then retract the blade, and then and then turn turn the the, the table saw off, um, and uh, you'll see I, I can I can bang out quite a few of these in, in one session um, with one setup. Uh, it's just a matter of, of making sure everything's ready, and um, you know once everything's all set up, uh, you're good to go. Okay, so. Let me, uh, let me get this machine running.
you go. Nice clean slit. Um, and did four of those in, in just a matter of minutes. Um, you're going to notice on my spear guns I have uh, some reinforcing uh, dowels in there to keep the muzzle from from splitting. It just makes things a lot stronger um, up front because uh, this, this area is prone to, to splitting and checking and, and things like that. So there you have it. Uh, pretty easy to do. It's, it's a lot safer than, than, than pushing it through uh, uh, by hand. So hope you learn something from that. Alright man, take it easy.